that. But yeah. then um, there's one guy who actually wants this whole book. So oh, actually he? figuring out what prices sell on eBay. Yeah. And then just make it a bit cheaper. Yeah, that's smart. You know? It's the best way to go about it. And then once we figure out the price, yep. we might do like a wholesale price on it. Mate, you are, you are switched on. <laughs> you are switched on. I love that. Thank you. That's Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just got back from the flea market and um, I picked up a dog for five bucks. Pretty good, had to negotiate, but I got a fair price. Um, she's she's an absolute cutie. Say hi, say hi. Yeah, you say hi to everyone. Nah, but all, in all seriousness though guys, right behind me, got a big bag of stuff. It was a very, very good morning out in the flea market and um, I'm gonna bring you all of it today in this video. So stick around for it. Uh, hit the like button if you get any value out of it. And um, what? Okay, I'll let you out in a second. I've got to go let her out. I'm going to run the footage of this flea market today. It was a good one. Bye there. How much on the jersey? $10? $10? Any other jerseys? No, the only one. The only one? No worries. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Give you a coat hanger. Yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> Thanks very much. Always need those. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, guys. How are you going? I'm well, you? How much on the pumas? Five on those. Five for the shoes. I'll take I'll take these off you. Thank you. Hey, I'll take them two DVDs. I've got no uh, coins. Don't have a dollar? I'll throw one more in for five if you like. Yeah, bang up, bang up, one in, mate. All yeah, right. Crusty Demons, I'll do that. Go straight away. Yeah, yeah. it's a ripper, the Crusty Demons. It's a classic, Demons. that one, isn't it? I know. It yeah, actually you like. goes real quick, that one. Yeah. There you go, mate. There's the three. Yeah, good on you, bro. Appreciate it, mate. It's all right. You have a good one. And you. Get rid of the Pokemon cards, guys. I am. Wow, well, wait. I wish I knew what I was actually looking at with these things. Yeah. Because you get some rare ones, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a shame. How do you go with them? Do you get? Do you find that a lot of people are after them? Um, they they look through them like like that, but yeah. then um. There's one guy who actually wants this whole book. So oh, we're actually he? figuring out what prices sell on eBay. Yeah. And then just make it a bit cheaper. Yeah, that's smart. You know? It's the best way to go about it. And then once we figure out the price, yep. we might do like a wholesale price on it. Mate, afterwards. you are you are switched on. <laughs> you are switched on. I love that. Thank you. That's exactly the way you gotta do it. Yeah. Oh really? I didn't know. I yeah, it was like, like kind of crap to do that. You got it no, you gotta check eBay, make sure you got your price. Yeah. And then just drop it a little bit to give them a good deal. Yeah. And you'll get that thing sold, my friend. I, I really wanted to sell these for a long time, but I actually took out some cards that I wanted to keep. Because yeah. they're so rare and expensive, and honestly, they're just really good. So have you got a bunch of rare like in that one? I do. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, you got this Marnie one. It's pretty It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I actually got the full art. Wow. Which is, like, now, I think, $500. You're kidding. You got that at home? No joke, yeah. Wow. It was my it was my first card that I ever got, ever, like, in, at first. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty good. So what do you think you're going to be able to get for it with, uh, with the guy that's coming back? Well, we're already up to 200. 200? So maybe another 150 and then we'll put it down a little bit. So. Yeah, go, go maybe 300 overall. Yeah. That's epic. Yeah. Well, I hope you get it. Thank you. And I you, really hope so as well. If he drops his price, hold firm. Okay. Yeah. Hold I'm not, firm. I'm not a good negotiator. I will, I will. Okay, I yeah. Awesome <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Help me please. Because you know... The calculator said... Yeah. <laughs> you know your price. eBay said this. 
In no, this. you know your price, guys. So stick to your price. Um, if you're interested, these are worth fifty cents each. About oh, fifty cents each. Like I said, I just wish I knew what I was looking for. But I'm glad that I met you well, guys because well, now I can help you with your deal. Well, it depends. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna come back a little later in the day. Sure. And I wanna I wanna hear about that deal. Okay. okay. I wanna hear that it's sold. Awesome. For yeah. Awesome. Right. I, I really hope I sell it. Nah, you will. You I'm will. I'm so desperate to get rid of these. I'll pop back later. Awesome. Thank you. See you guys. So so far I've spent twenty one dollars. I've bought six different items. I'll quickly take you through them. I bought that uh, West Tigers jersey. I spent ten dollars on it. Uh, this one should turn into about fifty dollars pretty fast, I would say, because it's got that fifteen year badge on it. Two thousand to two thousand and fourteen. 15 year commemorative, um, per the comps, I reckon $50 will come through pretty fast for that one there. This one didn't come in the footage, but it was a St. George Illawarra Dragons Rugby League corduroy hat. I actually like buying corduroy because it's pretty popular. Um, so this was just an old school retro hat. I reckon I can turn it into about $25. I only paid a dollar, so that was an awesome buy. This one as well, the Puma Baskets. I've sold these Puma shoes a number of times before. This is a women's size eight, so the size was really good as well. And I like the colorway to it, really cool pattern on it. The comps on eBay, uh, well, there are actually quite a lot of them as well, around about, again, that $50 price point. So, so far, we're looking at about $125 out of those three items. And then there were these three DVDs that actually ended up being brilliant. Um, the first one is Krusty Demons. Whenever you can find Krusty Demons of any kind in the DVDs, the comps are generally pretty good. Uh, motocross guys, and uh, this one was brand new and sealed as well. So uh, I anticipate about $25 for that one. Um, I've also found Dead and Buried because I always look for the horror DVDs. Um, this one was going for about $15 on eBay. So it's not a massive one, but I only paid a dollar for it, so not too bad. And then you would have seen in the footage there at the end, I spied this right at the end. I mean, I don't know how I missed it because it's an absolute bolo and I've sold the DVD before. So I'm glad I did spy it at the end and threw it in for three for five. That one goes last sold for $45 on eBay, the average sale price for this one's about $35. So a huge bolo DVD, stoked to pick that one up. Uh, the estimated resale value of those three there should be about $75. So when you add it with my 125, we're up to $200 worth of resale value, and I've only paid the 21 bucks. Let's get back into it. There's even one David favorite written on them already. Cool shoes. Really cool shoes. Where are you, where are you getting them from? Um, my person. <laughs> oh, you're personal. Yeah. Wow. They are sweet. Yeah, they have the charms on them or whatever one. Oh, yeah. And how come you're getting rid of them? I'm just not. Don't wear them. Don't wear them anymore. Because I haven't worn them ever. Literally never. Only these ones have been worn. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's such cool colorways. So unfortunately guys, these shoes were uh, fakes and there were a couple of telltale signs that made me aware of that pretty quickly. The first one, if you can see the shoe boxes, they've had their stickers um, torn off them, as you can see there at the top right. So that was one giveaway. And the other one as well, there's no tongue um, uh, sticker tag to show the style code or anything like that. So genuine Nikes always have those. Three games here. Do you yep. have the best price for the three? Uh, what are they? Some are 10. Five. Yeah, 20? Yeah, I'll take that. No worries. Two donuts? Yeah. How much on the shoes? Two donuts. The shoes? Yeah. It's one for $30. 30 and the pumas? Uh, 30. 30 as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you say what? what? Yeah, yeah, sure. $5. So $3? No, sorry. $5, please. She got five, Nancy. It's a shame the Jordans have got a bit of appeal. Hello, oh, hello. mate, that's so sweet. These are sick. Oh, I lent to my cousin. Yeah. They are so cool. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty handful if you want. What about these? What about these? Where, um, what year are these? 
Oh, I don't know, my brother gave me them ones too. 13s. 13s, 2013s. Look at these. Yeah, they, they, these ones, these, all these are this, they're brand spankers, isn't it? I've never worn them. The Kobe's. Yeah, it's a commemorative one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool too, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, all pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More style ones and playing them. Yeah. You play? I do socially, yeah. yeah. Play just, Carrara? yeah, Carrara. Oh, yeah. yeah, man, absolutely love my ball. Yeah, same. Just started there. Oh, have you? Yeah. What are you playing? Do you... one? Are you getting smoked? No, we're, we're playing Div Three. Oh, we yeah? are, yeah. We're just yeah, because we come from another comp. Yeah. We're trying to get to like Div Three or Four. Yeah. And they say, oh, there's no spots. Oh, so you have to play Div One. Oh, that was. They said you can come play, but you got to play Div One. Wow. Oh, like... What night do you play? Monday, uh, Tuesdays. Yeah, on Tuesdays as yeah, well. Yeah. I'll probably catch you there, mate. Yeah, man. Oh, man, you got three bucks. Three you bucks? Take them other days too, man. Nah, I'll keep them, mate. I'll keep, you'll leave you with them. There's just too much wear on them. Yeah, no. Unfortunately. A little bit less wear than I would have, but I'll take the vans. Yeah, sweet. Sweet. Um, what about Buffy? How much on Buffy? Um, five dollars. Five bucks on Buffy? Yeah. Okay. I just, I had a whole lot of different ones and uh, someone said, oh, um, Buffy and I said, well, five bucks. Yeah. Uh, the others were 10, 15. Yeah. And there's lots of DVDs over here. Just missing season one, isn't it? I think so. I'm not sure. Unfortunately. Yeah, I, I don't watch it. Um, no, no, no. But, um, oh, it's still good though. Like, oh, God, yeah. you got the majority of the seasons except for the first. Yeah. Um, but if you like into that, it's five bucks worth it. Yeah. I just don't want to carry it. It's too heavy. No, I hear you. Mate, I'll take Buffy off you. Okay. There you go. All right, now. Okay. Thanks for some money from the Zero Bank account there. Where is it? And well, I've got to give you 15, yeah? 15 would be appreciated. Okay, there's a 10, there's a 5, I get to 20. Very much, my friend. And, Thank uh, you. Voila. Now that's brilliant. Yes. I'll keep having to think about the gimbal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it lasts, uh, the battery lasts for 18 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jeez, that's pretty damn good too. It's a good one. Yeah. All right, mate. Thanks very much. We'll keep in touch. Cheers, all right. Thanks, mate. Right. <laughs> Guys, how did we go? Oh, you're no. back. Did you, did you get it? No. No. Still here. Still here? Still here yeah. Oh, so you've gone 500. Yeah, well, okay. It, it turned out to be 535. Great. So we put 500. Put 500. And Take then, offers. And then this one lady came and she's like, oh, I'll give you 150 for these two. These shows. I was like, no. No. Because one of them is like 100. Yeah, so yeah. And it worked out. Well, these, these prices you've just put on. Yeah. Clever. Clever. Let the intentions be known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what they say when they came back for 500? He never came back. Oh, he never came back. No, so he came back. He, we told him it was 500 and then he's like... I'm going to walk around and I'll come back. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Yeah. He's gone. Probably. But you know what, guys? You don't want to sell it for less than what it's worth. Yeah. Yeah. And if he's so. not ready to buy it for that price. Because it was 537 and this one was 110 So. Have you got them in other places? Marketplace or eBay? Well, we can see the price on eBay, but we think, like, obviously no one's taking them because they're just, you know, checking them for prices. Why don't you try and put this up, um, itemize it out on eBay and yeah. list it up for, like, even an auction? Okay. So you, you auction it off at a minimum price that you're happy to get yeah. and see if you can get some bids and get a bidding war. It might go to 600. Ooh. I'd look at eBay, guys. You might get it there. If you don't get it done today, you might get it on eBay. Okay, awesome. All Thank good. You so much. No worries, guys. Thank you. See you later. How much on the shoes? Four dollars? No worries. There you go. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thanks very much. Ta. 
So we've ended up picking up another seven items in that little run. I'll take you through the first one, which was just on screen, and that are these Columbia hiking boots. So I look out for the brand Columbia quite a bit. Really great hiking shoe brand. These are in excellent condition. I ended up paying $10. Uh, for these shoes. So that was not too bad of a purchase. Um, should go into about $50 per the comps I was seeing. Vans, I typically usually sell these for $40 to $45. I really like the mustard colorway. Um, these are a size nine and a half. The soles on them are pretty much always gonna be in pretty good condition when it comes to Vans. They, they tend to hold the test of time. Um, oh, yeah, 40 to 45, bought them for $3 off that bloke that plays basketball at my rec center. So that was kind of cool. These were an, these are the best shoes I bought today. No doubt about it. The Adidas Energy Boots, it's, it's more of a condition. The condition is just fantastic. I was shocked when she said four bucks for those. If I could be buying shoes for $4, I'll be a very rich man on eBay, that's for sure. Um, this as well, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, seasons one to seven, 39 disc box set. Was missing season one, as you would have seen there, um, but I still had to pick it up because it comes in the metal case, which is worth a little bit, and uh, I can find season one pretty comfortably. I, I should be able to find that in an op shop at some point down the line. So I'm gonna hold on to that $5 purchase. If it does get that season one, it should sell for about 60 bucks free postage. Um, so still, I think that's a pretty good turnaround once I can get it complete. And then these video games were actually a really good purchase in the end. I spent $20, Spider-Man on the PS4, that one there goes for about $25. Um, so that, that was okay. Fallout 4, Game of uh, the Year edition on the PC, that one there. I don't typically buy PC games, but this one is brand new and sealed, so I had to go ahead with that. I should be able to get $30 for that one. And this one was the real winner of the uh, video game purchases, uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima uh, goes for about $50 in pre-owned condition on eBay. The discs, I will say on these video games, um, the two PS4s are mint, absolutely mint. I could almost sell them new other. Um, so anyway, I've got these for 20, that should all sell for about $100. All of that there should turn into about 300 bucks on eBay per what the comps were telling me. You take into account the first round that we had earlier in the video, and that is now a total of $500 worth of estimated resale value. I've spent $61 today on those 13 items, really just sort of cherry picking the best of the bunch, an average cost per good of $4.70. So fantastic opportunities in the flea markets to get some really great quality items for your eBay store. 13 items for me to list up today that will no doubt go on to sell in a pretty quick space of time. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I will leave you with another one here, which was actually last Sunday's flea market video, which I do actually believe is the best flea market video I've ever done. So go and check that one out if you're yet to do so. And uh, I do appreciate you being here. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Thanks guys.